गुड आफ्टरनून वन एंड ऑल आय सोनाली अत्रे वेलकम यू ऑल इन द इंटरनॅशनल ब्रेस्ट फिडिंग वीक सेलिब्रेशन टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी थ्री टुडे इज सेकंड डे ऑफ ब्रेस्ट फिडिंग वीक सेलिब्रेशन आय वुड लाईक टू इंट्रोड्यूस अवर टुडेज इमेन स्पीकर मिस वैभवी राणी मस्के शी हॅज डन डिग्री इन बॅचलर ऑफ आर्ट्स अँड एल एल बी ऑनर्स फ्रॉम गुजरात नॅशनल लॉ युनिव्हर्सिटी करंटली शी इज वर्किंग विथ रेड डॉट फाउंडेशन पुणे ॲज अ फॅसिलिटेटर अँड ट्रेनर हर एरिया ऑफ एक्सपर्टाइज इज जेंडर लॉ अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी अँड हर एरियाज ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज सोशल जस्टिस शी हॅज रिसेंटली रिप्रेझेंटेड द ऑर्गनायझेशन ॲट द सेकंड युनायटेड नेशन्स हॅबिटेट असेंब्ली इन केनया वैभवी हॅज ट्रेन मोर दॅन फाय थाउजंड पीपल ऑन लॉज ऑन जेंडर अँड हॅज एनकरेज पीपल टू आयडेंटिफाय अँड रिपोर्ट जेंडर बेस्ड क्राईम्स अँड बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल बाय स्टँडर्स आय रिक्वेस्ट मिस वैभवी टू कंटिन्यू विथ द सेशन over to you ma'am good day everyone um ladies gentlemen esteemed guests and dear mothers today we gather here on this auspicious occasion of international breastfeeding day to celebrate the miraculous journey of motherhood and the precious bond between a mother and her child this day holds tremendous significance it is highlights the importance of breastfeeding uh, for the health and well-being of the mother as well as the baby Um, as we come together to commemorate this day i stand before you to shed light on the profound impact of breastfeeding um and touching a bit on the indian subcontinent next uh, continent subcontinent and the legalities around it so like we said international breastfeeding day is celebrated worldwide on the 1st august to promote and support breastfeeding and raise awareness on the benefits of breastfeeding for the infants as and as well as the mothers um the indian government itself has in order to support the cause taken steps to promote breastfeeding through various initiatives and programs just to mention a few there is something called as the baby friendly hospital initiative the bfhi um there is janani shishu suraksha karyakram and maternity elements under the national food security act but more importantly what we're going to focus today is on the legislation that that focuses more on maternity aspects at workplace as well so the first things first the maternity benefit act 1961 was established in order to um, come up with rules and regulations to promote security protection um of working mothers um and some of the elements are such that um it applies to establishments employing 10 or more people and covers female employees who have worked at the organization for at the least 80 days in the 12 months preceding to the date of delivery so you have to be a, a working female who is pregnant now but has worked for more than 80 days at least 80 80 or more than 80 days in the past one month one year sorry um another thing that i wanted to bring out with this legislation is that uh, the eligibility for people to apply for this is varied so you can apply if you're a pregnant woman you can apply if you're a woman adopting a child you can also apply if you're a woman who has uh, experienced mis- miscarriage and you can apply if you are surrogate or comm- commissioning mother of course the duration of uh, maternity benefits maternity leaves will be different for different categories um but it's still um, um i think um, commending to say that we have um, established law for different types of uh, motherhood um eligible women employees who are entitled to 26 weeks approximately 6.5 months of paid leave uh will be mostly a uh, pregnant working women um and it's it's brilliant to see that um from i think 2016 where the maternity paid leave um was 12 weeks now it's been extended by an amendment to 20 26 weeks and also there's been uh, an amendment in the prenatal leave that has increased from 6 weeks to 8 weeks um this leave by the way can be availed by uh, the employee uh before or after child work it, de- it depends on um, the employee's choice entirely now that we are speaking about the maternity benefit amendment act 2017 i just wanted to introduce a few concepts that have already been spoken of um and are vital for employees as, as well as um, employers to understand and know 
um one of the things that uh, came out of the 2017 amendment was that a uh, space for women uh, pregnant women to start working from home now this was an inclusion that was brought up this was something very new so this can be done um with the expiry of maternity leave so after the expiry of the maternity leave which would be 26 weeks uh, a woman can avail for work from home environment uh, def definitely depending on the mutual agreement of the employer and employee but this is another thing that was proposed which i think is um, a brilliant um, uh, addition to the policy um, the law also grants nursing breaks uh, to nursing women uh, for up to four times a day now these breaks are in addition to your regular breaks that you get maybe lunch break or uh, breakfast break uh, and should be each break should be at least 15 minutes long so these are nursing breaks that can be availed by nursing women um at the workplace but there is also um a provision for establishments organizations that employ more than 40 employees that they require to have um a crash facility at the establishment at the working space itself and there the women can go ahead and take those four um uh, working breaks uh, nursing breaks that were um, initially mentioned um again these breaks can be taken to the crash itself additional to the regular breaks and uh, 15 minutes each so i think that's another addition that has been um added by um your um amendment act now concluding i feel like um it's time to uh, discuss a few myths around maternity and uh, breastfeeding i feel that a lot of women who are working in a working space who are facing pregnancy or are planning pregnancy also have this idea that um this may not impact the organization um in the right manner that you'd like to so a lot of myths around whether i will get dismissed from my job whether there will be um a transfer there will be a reduction in my salary just wanted to let you know that legally speaking during the period of the maternity leave a woman cannot be dismissed from her employment um doing so would be considered unlawful and would lead to penalties for the employer themselves so i think it in uh, one sense protects you uh from unlawful termination or um discrimination at workplace and that could be taken ahead uh, naturally by um um the aggrieved woman um and there is a legal cause for that itself so i just wanted to let you know that the idea that we have the overarching idea that we have that employing women who are married or employing women who are opting for pregnancy will uh, lead to reduced productivity in their work but i feel like with uh, um, amendments and ideas of work from home nursing breaks i think uh, the overarching idea of the organization should be for the well being of the employers uh, employees as well as the loved ones of the employees so i think if you create an environment which is not hostile which doesn't look at you as a product it doesn't look at you as a machinery i think then we will be able to uh move towards a more holistic more more natural course of productivity and i think um from i think just from the perspective of a woman i think um a woman who has lesser worries um and knows that she has been taken care of in a space would be more productive um in putting her brain putting her ideas putting her creativity um in the best manner possible at the workplace and i think that's what the idea should be for all employers if i provide for all the facilities that you need as a mother as a nursing mother as a mother who's going through paternity maternity um experiences i feel like that is a job well done because i know that that will be repaid by the employee to me itself so um there are many examples where a w great working environment has only boosted um economic growth and um um holistic overall development of the organization i feel so i just wanted to wind it up again by not taking too much time but on this international breastfeeding day um let us join hands to celebrate the beautiful bond between mothers and the babies we um are happy for organizations like college of nursing um bharatiya vidyapeeth has organized awareness campaigns and they are also organizing workshops and events to spread awareness uh, and knowledge about uh, breastfeeding's importance so i would like to pledge here to support breastfeeding mothers and create a nurturing environment where every baby gets the best start of their life and with that congratulations to the team for organizing a wonderful um um series of uh, workshop series of webinars and good luck to everybody and um, 
have a great day ahead thank you bye bye for next session i would like to introduce mrs vaishali dhongde madam has total 25 years of clinical experience in bharti hospital research center pune and currently holding a position as a matron clinical services in bharti hospital research center pune since 10 years madam has excellent critical nursing skills leadership quality and has experience of handling and training of many staff nurses madam has received best performance award in covid pandemic and has received best sister award in abhijit dada memorial foundation also received best matron award from ima madam has organized many workshops conferences and cna programs for nurses now i would request mrs vaishali dhumde to continue with the session over to you ma'am good morning one and all uh myself is vaishali dhongde working as a matron in bharti hospital research center from last 28 years uh, now we celebrate world breastfeeding week by 1st to 7th august 2023 the theme of the theme of the this is the theme of the breastfeeding week is enable breastfeeding making difference for working parents Uh, the first two years of a child life provides a critical window of opportunity for appropriate growth development and child survival as you know the two years of the child breastfeeding is very very important for us it is a growth development of the brain as well as the body the optimal practices include initiations of breastfeeding within 1 hour of birth at least exclusive breastfeeding for 6 months and continue breastfeeding after 6 months along with appropriate complementary feedings for 2 years as you know the first 6 months of the breastfeeding is very very important for attachment of the mother and the baby and also the legislation now we will discuss about the legislations breastfeeding mothers are entitled to exclusive benefits under indian law if women are both to work and to have children in decent and healthy conditions the maternity protection is a necessity one of the five essential elements of maternity protections is enabling mothers to continue breastfeeding upon returning of work and the workplace lactation program which provides prenatal counseling and workplace support for breastfeeding are increasingly seen as a cost effective investment to increase employee morale and minimize absenteeism and reduce turnover also the for all women factory workers the employers for factories under the factory rules 1963 should construct the crutches for workers and children the act compels adequate care and rules to be followed in the building and maintenance of these structures these crutches should be accompanied with washrooms should also contain adequate supply of milk at least 300 ml per day the entire facility must be placed under the charges of an adequate number of trained women qualified as per standards the shop of establishment act mandates that every establishment where 50 or more workers are employed there should have a suitable rooms or rooms as crutches for use of children of workers a group of establishments can also create a common crutches for themselves if they are in a radius of 1 km uh, let's see what happen in india the maternity benefits act 2017 for examples entitled breastfeeding moms to a crutch at their workplace be it an it firms government office factory and the plantation or mine mobile crutches appropriate builders at potential construction sites with a view to opening a center of children of its workers the infant section looks after newborn babies and infants and mothers and encouraged to breastfeedings regularly to date mobile crutches has trained 6000 child care workers and ran 600 day care centers 
Now, what is the benefits for the employers? Improve retentions of female employee after maternity leave, thereby the retaining valuable employee skills, experience, and lessening recruitment and retaining the costs. Earlier returns to work by some new mothers, easier transitions back to work following maternity leaves, lower employee absenteeism rates and account of improved child health, lower and fewer health care costs associated with healthier breastfeed infants. Also improve employer-employee relations and greater employee loyalty, improve company image, higher job productivity, employee satisfaction and morale, healthier workforce for the futures. Now let's see breastfeeding friendly policy, provide statutory paid maternity leave for women who qualify, offer flexible work hours so that breastfeeding mothers can take extended lunch breaks to express milk or breastfeed their baby, provide a breastfeeding break of at least one hour per day if the baby can be brought to work. Be attentive to parents' need regarding children's schedules. In our Bharti Hospital Research Center policy, we paid a maternity leave at least six months, provide crutches for mothers working in Bharti Hospital Research Centers, also giving morning shifts for every mothers who flexible timing for breastfeeding and the availability of the expression breast milk rooms. In the hospital policy, the hospital supports the mothers in a lot of ways. First, not promoting infants' formula bottles or teats, making breastfeeding care standard practices, and also the, uh, we give the staff competency, the hospital supports, training staff on supporting mothers to breastfeed, assessing health workers' knowledge and skills. When the mother is in antenatal care, the hospital support Discussing the importance of breastfeeding for babies and the mothers. Preparing mothers to how to feed their babies. In after birth, the hospital supports incurring skin to skin contact between mothers and the baby. Helping mothers to put their baby to the breast right away. While the breastfeeding, the hospital support checking positioning, attachment and sucking giving practical breastfeeding supports in rooming letting mothers and babies stay togetherly day and night also making sure that the mother of six babies can stay near the babies in response of the feeding the hospital support gives helping mothers know when their babies is hungry not limiting breastfeeding times Bottle tits and specify we counsel the mothers on the use and risk of the feeding bottles, tits and pacifiers. While the discharge, referring mothers to community resources for breastfeeding support, working with communities to improve breastfeeding support services. Thank you. Thank you, madam for sharing your valuable views on policies and legislation for employer about breastfeeding. For next session, I would like to introduce our next speaker, Mrs. Manisha Sanjay Gadade. She has done her MSc in nursing with the specialization of obstetrics and gynecological nursing. Currently, Madam is pursuing PhD in nursing. Madam is working as an assistant professor in Bharti Vidyapit deemed to be University College of Nursing, Pune. She has total 23 years of teaching experience and one year of clinical experience. She is HOD of ob department. She has taught different programs under nursing from diploma to PG and has research guide for diploma, UG and PG. She has awarded as a Best Teacher Award by Samta Bandhu Sausta in 2018. She has undergone NSS Officers Training. She is NRP Trainer and also member of TNAI, IAP, SOMI, NRSI, etc. Madam has various research publications in national and international journals. I request Mrs. Manisha Madam to proceed with the session. Over to you ma'am. Good afternoon one and all. Today I will be dealing with policies and legislation for the breastfeeding employee. 
what are the policies policies is a de deliberate system of guidelines to guide the decision and achieve rational outcome policy is a statement of intent and is implemented as a procedure or protocol policies are generally adopted by a governance body within an organization this can assist in both subjective as well as objective decision making what is the legislation legislation is preparing and enacting laws by local state or national legislative law it is a set of suggested by a government and made official by a parliament now why breastfeeding is important globally only 41% are exclusively breastfed and in india only 46.4% children under 6 months are exclusively breastfed now what are the advantage and benefits of breastfeeding and in unequal way of providing food and care for the healthy growth and development of infants and young children an integral part of the reproductive process with important implications for the health of mother necessary to avoid both short and long term risk for mothers and children it is an exclusive feeding practice and is suitable option for many hiv positive mothers especially in the presence of anti retroviral now what are the policies for breastfeeding in india who and unicef recommend that children initiate breastfeeding within the first hour of birth and exclusively breastfed for the first 6 months of life meaning no other foods or liquids are provided including water infant infant should be breastfed on demand that is as often as the child wants day and night what is the current breastfeeding policy infant should be breastfed on demand that is as often as the child wants day and night no bottle teats or pacifiers should be used from the age of 6 months children should begin eating safe and adequate complementary foods while continuing to breastfeed for up to 2 years of age or beyond what are the iycf guidelines regarding the breastfeeding optimal infant and young child feeding early initiation that is within 1 hour of birth of exclusive breastfeeding exclusive breastfeeding for the 6 first 6 months of life followed by nutritionally adequate and safe complementary food while breastfeeding continues for up to 2 years of age or beyond now legislation for breastfeeding a mother may breastfeed her baby in any lactic any location public or private where the mother is otherwise authorized to be breastfeeding shall not be deemed an obscenity or be a violation of any other provision of law the national breastfeeding policy was developed based on the following principles that is the guidelines the first is confidentiality all patients information will be kept confidential with respect to their choice to breastfeed or not to breastfeed their infant for medical or non medical reason discrimination and stigmatization there will be no discrimination or stigmatization against any mother who wishes to breastfeed at the workplace or otherwise and even if the choice is not to be breastfed whether it is medically indicated or not next principle is empowerment all pregnant women and mothers will be empowered to make informed choices at relates to the it relates to the nutrition of their infant through breastfeeding as the preferred choice next is quality assurance the system implemented for breastfeeding will be informed by evidence and best practice to optimize outcome for mothers babies healthcare staff and the wider community with quality assurance and control what are the ethical practices regarding breastfeeding the following ethical considerations are essential for the breastfeeding policy the proven scientific facts and accepted practices in the field will be presented to the mother 
honestly and completely with the mother having the final decision on whether to breastfeed or not healthcare workers must make every effort to distance themselves from make from marketing attempts by producers and distributors of breast milk substitutes patient's privacy must be honored and patient information with their utmost confidentiality objectives of the policy to provide the frame, framework for the implementation of the revised bfhi guidelines 2018 and the 10 steps to successful breastfeeding in all public health care facility provide the framework for plan of action that ensures breastfeeding is promoted supported and incorporated into the whole of government and the whole of society approaches inclusive of health professionals employers manufacturers importers community and the family increase the percentage of babies who receive immediate and uninterrupted skin to skin contact and start breastfeeding within the first hour after birth advocate for the enforcement of regulations concerning the production and marketing of breast milk substitute as a contained in the who unicef international code of marketing of breast milk substitutes increase the proportion of health professionals who receive adequate breastfeeding education and training to facilitate the breastfeeding education and community support for breastfeeding mothers and their families increase the number of breastfeeding friendly setting environments and strengthen the breastfeeding information system for evidence based decision making now the next steps like breastfeeding after returning to work again this is the policies and the legislation work is one of the main reason that working women stop uh, breastfeeding for many women the lack of workplace support for breastfeeding makes working incompatible with breastfeeding yet it is a low cost intervention for employ involves minimum disruption to the workplace bring the benefits for employees including supporting breastfeeding at work higher retention rate lower employee absenteeism rates on account of improved child health lower healthcare cost enhance employee moral and productivity and improve the image supporting breastfeeding and work breastfeeding breaks breastfeeding or nursing breaks are short periods that are reserved during the reserve during the work day to breastfeed one child or express milk to be fed later to the child that is as per the convention number 183 which calls for the right to one or more daily breaks or reduction in working time for the purpose of breastfeeding the length and number of breaks to be decided nationally nursing breaks are to be counted as working time and remunerated supporting breastfeeding and work breastfeeding facilities recommendation number 191 encourages breastfeeding facilities at the workplace breastfeeding facilities or nursing rooms are simply a place where worker can feed her baby or express her milk This facility should be clean have clean water and privacy more than 20 countries have legislation for the provision of such facilities they are expensive to set up and can consist of inexpensive to set up and can consist of only conveniently located small clean space with a chair access to clean water and the screen for privacy more elaborate facilities can have a refrigerator and outlet for a, a breast pump other ways to support breastfeeding and work that is proper information support from the colleagues flexible working time child care facilities breastfeeding policies how to make a workplace breastfeeding friendly Several concrete options exist to make the workplace more breastfeeding friendly which include time space support maternity leave parental leaves flexible hours more breaks attention to parents needs regarding children schedule space that is comfortable private facilities for expressing breast milk 
access to a free to store mill a clean and safe work environment day care facilities if feasible support that is policy information discussion consultations in support breastfeeding and family related entitlement breastfeeding is a norm for feeding babies and supporting breastfeeding at work produces major health and economic advantages with benefits for the child mother employer and the society so among the benefits reported by employees who support breastfeeding at the workplace are lower health care cost less absenteeism and higher productivity the international labor standards set out breastfeeding breaks or a daily reduction of working time are counted as a working time and remunerated accordingly for mothers returning from maternity leave so national legislation typically provides for one hour usually divided into two 30 minute break per day so breastfeeding facilities at the workplace are inexpensive and easy to set now the breastfeeding and hiv anti retroviral and other measures can dramatically reduce the risk of mtct the workplace can play a proactive role in preventing mother to child transmission facilitating access to voluntary and confidential testing treatment and information on infant feeding options for hiv positive women where the mothers living with hiv are encouraged to breastfeed as the best feeding option for their infant who has specific recommendations regarding the prevention of transmission through breastfeeding the workplace has a critical uh, role play in preventing mother to child transmission and supporting breastfeeding practices in accordance with the international guidelines now the maternity benefit act the maternity benefit act 2017 passed by the rajya sabha in august 2016 has also been passed by the lok sabha in march 2017 under this law every establishment having 50 or more employees must provide the facility of crèche crèche within such distance as proposed either separately or long with the common facilities a women worker will be allowed four visits to the crèche in a day it requires employees to provide nursing breaks of prescribed duration for new mothers in order to express breast milk for nursing child these nursing breaks are fully paid and are available until the child reaches the age of 15 months ministry of women and child development government of india has issued crutch guidelines in november 2018 following are the salient points in guideline that is the one crutch for every 13 chil- 30 children between the age 6 months to 6 years of Uh, type all types of employ the crutch must be located at the workplace or within 500 meters of the establishment employees are required to employ one crutch worker along with a helper for every 10 children under the age of 3 years and uh, for every 20 children between the age group of 3 to 6 years no breastfeeding under state laws for all women factory workers employers for factories under the factory rule should construct the crutch for workers children the act compels adequate care and rules to be followed in the building and maintenance of these structures in situations of lacking space the permission of the chief inspector can be gained for exemption from the same so this crutch should be accompanied with washrooms and should also contain adequate supply of milk for each child the entire facility must be placed under charge of adequate number of trained women qualified as per the standards for all women workers in shops and commercial establishment the shops and establishment act mandates that every establishment where 50 or more workers are employed they should be have suitable room or room as a crutch for the use of children of workers as well as for the breastfeeding a group of establishment can also create common crutches for themselves if they are in a radius of 1 km 
for all women workers in bd establishment the female workers with children under the age of 6 years establishment within with more than 50 workers are entitled to designated rooms for maternal activities the crèche should be well ventilated sanitized and maintained by the trained women employees should be provided with breaks at regular intervals for the breastfeeding labor law for working mothers here are some of the key labor laws stated in working women in india that is uh, same again the maternity benefit act and the nursing breaks as it has been discussed under every guidelines that is iycf guidelines uh, maternity benefit act and many guidelines for the breastfeeding so uh, this is also saying that like there should be a there should be a like nursing breaks as per the prescribed duration for nursing the child until the child attains the age of 15 months thank you thank you madam for sharing your valuable views on policies and legislation for employee and their rights for breastfeeding today's all sessions are over if anyone as having any doubt you can put your queries in chat box thank you thank you miss vaibhavi for enlighten us with your valuable information thank you mrs vaishali dhongde madam matron bharti hospital research center pune for sharing your valuable contribution towards the policies and legislation for breastfeeding of working women as employer thank you mrs manisha gadade madam for sharing views regarding policies and legislation of breastfeeding as employee thank you dear participants for joining with us for today's session if you have any queries kindly put it in the chat box thank you once again